So I said, yeah, because we were listening to his ra the radio, and we were going to birthday, taking to we were going to dinner, and he had on his iPad, whatever iPod, whatever that thing was, we had and music came on, and I knew the song, and I could sing with it, but I'm getting old, so I couldn't remember this singer for a minute. And he said, Mom, that's Bill Withers. And I said, Oh, how did I spend New Year's Eve with Bill Withers? And he said, You what? It was like back there in my memory. It was like I remember that I was in New York. I was going with Kevin McCarthy, and Kevin Kevin was really instrumental in my getting into acting. I loved him. He was much older than me. He was older than my mom because he just died at ninety-five a while back. But Kevin was my mentor. I mean, and he and we had a very serious relationship for quite a few years, and so. Anyway, I went to New York with him for Christmas, and he, his kids, he was divorced, and he had, his kids were upstate New York, and so we had arranged, we had someone's apartment there, and we'd arranged that for the weekend, he was between, or the week between Christmas and New Year's, he was going to go up and be with his kids, and so I was, I did New York by myself, and because I had worked in a dress shop in L.A. on Sunset Strip called Bernice's, Bernice, Oh God, that's a whole other story. But Bernice introduced me to every famous jazz person there was. I mean, we we go to Nancy Wilson's house. Uh, I mean, she knew. Oh my God, Paul. I mean, I didn't meet Pete, meet Paul through her, Paul Horn. But oh God, you know. I mean, I, I just the creme de la creme. I know what I knee Collins, who worked with her and became my friend, knee was married to John Collins, who was part of the Nat King Cole trio. Yeah. He played the guitar. So I became friends with John and Knee. And they had two kids. And anyway, so when I went to New York for that time and I had that time off and I was going to have, I was being new by myself on New Year's Eve and who cared. But they were great friends with Dr. Billy Taylor and his wife. You know who Dr. Billy Taylor is, don't you? Yes, okay, you better. I went to Harlem and spent New Year's Eve. They were kind enough to invite this blonde fluffball who didn't understand the significance of anybody and I spent New Year's Eve with them and another f couple of friends they had and Bill Withers. No. Can you imagine how lucky? My God. I wonder what the hell they did. They were very kind to me because I, I don't know if I could carry it. Obviously, was learned to carry conversations with people. I don't know. But anyway, there you have it.